What's up guys, this is Omega Liar, and as you can see right here in front of you is my Audi R8 V10 Plus F5.2 FSI Quattro for 2013, ranked 188th in the world, beating my Ferrari Enzo from the, uh, the other video. But that wasn't good enough, so I actually went back and tuned the older model of the car. Um, if only because it has some it has some design qualities and some handling qualities that I just feel work better. And obviously this is rival mode, which is why you have the ghost car. Um, I ended up doing a lot of, to get the, the other Audi uh, to be this fast. It took me about 47 laps. <laughs> to get this Audi to be this fast, see I'm on lap 2 and I'm going to beat it. So, it, this is a fast car. And the design, the design uh, philosophy was actually really simple. I took a four-wheel drive car that had relatively high power, relatively low weight, and relatively good handling. And obviously that, in this case, is the Audi R8. And I wanted to make it grip well and go fast, because obviously that's what you want to do. Um, the design, at the essence of it, really gets close to the uh, R8 LMS. Uh, this car is very similar to that car in many ways. Um, it's got the same aerodynamics, it's got, it's low to the ground just like the other one, it accelerates, similar top speed, similar everything. And the R8 LMS, at least in Forza 4, was able to run about a 112. And that was on a power lap. Uh, this is obviously a hot lap, and I was able to get a 111.737. I think there's definitely room for improvement there. I want to rework the acceleration, and I want to, and I, I have to do a whole bunch of other things, but... Uh, by sticking that design quality, and I'll, show, I'll tell you the changes that I made. Um, obviously, it's as low to the ground as possible. Top Gear doesn't have a lot of level changes, so being low to the ground is, is always going to be to your benefit on this track. Um, but it's also had the front springs managed so that it uh, pretty much reduces understeer as much as I could. But it had the back, it had, had the back springs that completely shifted as well. Because one of the issues you have with the R8 is it, and the way it works is that you'll actually drift a lot, even though it's a four-wheel drive car, and I needed to minimize that. So the spoiler in the back has been shifted as much as possible to give it optimal downforce with a minimal drag, relatively speaking, and that's what makes it look so clean as you're going to see right here. Um, now on top of that, I also shifted with the gearing a lot. Um, this has the fully upgraded gearbox and it's an extremely tunable a piece of equipment that allows me to get the best kind of acceleration, but you have to keep in mind this car isn't actually specifically for Top Gear, it just happens to be really good there. Um, I tune most of my cars on Le Mans uh, to try and make sure I get the most power out of the engine, to try and make sure that I can turn properly, do all these things, and it translates really well to Top Gear. Uh, but that being said, the, the time that I was able to get is top uh, is I think rank 187 probably not anymore because you know it goes down after time but regardless it's an extremely fast Audi really really good on power circuits similar to Top Gear so uh, I put the design up for you guys to download if you want I don't know if anyone is ever gonna do that but if you want the fastest Audi uh, R8 GT or rather Audi R8 FSI uh, from 2010 on the market this is gonna be your bet um, in the S class there's not a single Audi faster on Top Gear and I am, I'm, I've been meaning to start racing others, but, you know, it is what it is. But if you like this video, comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you in my next commentary. As always, thank you for watching.